Hello. How are you all? It's good to see you. Can you see me? I'm wearing my hat today because it's cold. It's supposed to be springtime. What happened to springtime? When are we going to get some sunshine? Meanwhile, we're going to do another one of our art lessons. Have you been following along? I hope so. There have been some good art lessons so far. Some people have been sending us their finished pictures, which you can do if you like. Now, today we're going to do something about the color wheel. This is a color wheel here. Come in, Libush. Libush is here with me. Hello. Do you see all the colors in the color wheel? Starting with yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, and back to yellow. We're going to have some fun with that. So what you'll need today is... Nibush, come over here. Hello. You're going to need paper. You'll need an A4 sheet or an A3 sheet, whichever you like. You'll need a ruler. You'll need a pencil. You'll need your paints. And you'll need a brush with lots of water. Lots of water because I want you to clean your brushes between each color. Okay? Now, Libush, come around here. I've put this paper up on the board, but you can work on a table. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, we need to divide this paper up into six. How do we do that, John? Well, First of all, we put on our glasses. We take our ruler and we measure it. And I know that's 40 plus another 2 is 42. It's 42 centimeters from there to there. Okay? And this way, it's 30 centimeters. So what we need to do is we need to divide 42 divided by 3, because I want 6 squares. 42 divided by 3? Anybody know? Libush, what's 42 divided by 3? I have no oh, idea. God. You can't get good help nowadays. No. 14. And this we need to divide in two. 30, 30 divided by two, Libush, come on. Mm, 10. Oh, 30 divided by two equals 15. Mm. Libush is not very good at maths, is she? No. No. Okay. So we need 14 centimeters. So here we go. Here's 14. Fourteen. And another one. Fourteen. And then we need to go down the bottom. Fourteen. And fourteen. And then this way we need to go fifteen centimeters. Some of you are very good at maths. I know one or two in my classes that are really good at maths. Not like Libush. Oh. Sorry. Oh, well. You weren't paying attention at maths class. No, I wasn't. No. And then we join those up with lines like that. Easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. Whoops! Come on, John, concentrate. So, do you think you can do that? It's not so hard. Your mom and your dad will help you. Get a ruler, a pencil, and a piece of paper, and break it up into six squares like that. Now I'm going to pause. Hello again. Have you got everything you need? 
If you have, let's move on. So we have our six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. And inside those squares, we're going to put shapes. What are shapes, John? Well, this is a shape. Anybody know what that is? It's called a... Square. Oh, what am I going to do with this person? It's a circle, Liebusch. Oh. Okay. Wakey, wakey. What's that, Liebusch? Mm, um, square? A square. Aha, she got one right. S-Q-U-A-R-E. What is this? I know, I know, I know that you know one. This one. It's a triangle. It's a triangle. Very good. Oh, How do you yes. spell a triangle? Can you spell it? Uh, T R I A N. Hmm. Let me think. Uh, G, G L E. Very good. A triangle. E. Now, what else can we put in here? Oh, yeah, I know. Do you know what that one is? No. That's called a rectangle. A rectangle. What about this one? That's a hard one. You know what that one is? Mm, it's not that a circle. Is an oval. What do we have in our fridge that's oval shaped? The bush? Mm, cheese. No! An egg! <gasps> oh. <laughs> and what's this? I don't know. That's called a diamond. Mm, a diamond. Or... Someday, some gentleman will give you a diamond ring. Oh, yes. And don't marry him until he gives you a diamond ring. Okay. Okay? Now, what are we going to do now? Wait till you see. Has everybody got that much done? Circle, square, triangle, rectangle, oval, and diamond. Okay? Now what are we going to do? Watch this. We're going to put another circle outside this circle. And we're going to put another one outside that. And another one outside that. And another one outside that. Can you do that? It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's do this one. That's not very good, John. You can do better than that. You see? And another one outside that. Now let's do this one. Fun, isn't it? Nice. Now let's do the rectangle. Is everybody following along? Remember, you can pause this at any time and catch up if I'm going too quickly. Just push the pause button on your screen and come back and do it some other time. Now let's make a bigger egg outside that egg and a bigger egg outside that egg and a bigger egg outside that egg and a bigger one like that. And the last one uh -huh, is a girl's best friend. Huh? Girl's best friend is a diamond ring.
So now the fun part starts. What are we going to do now? Well, I'll show you. So, we have circles, outside circles, outside circles, and squares, outside squares, outside squares, like that. Now, we're going to paint it. But how are we going to paint it? We're going to do it a little bit differently. Watch it. Let's take a look at our colored wheel again. Come over here, Lee Bush. Yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, and back to yellow. So we're going this way around. Okay? That way around. And that's called, does anybody know? A big English word, it's called clockwise. That's clockwise. Anybody know what the other way is? It's called anti-clockwise. Now those are very big English words and anti-clockwise is the other way. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. Whoa! So, how are we going to paint it? Well, we're going to paint it like this. Watch. When you're painting, I said this to you before, remember, put a little bit of water on each color. Okay? Before you start. A little bit of water on each one and you'll find you'll get far better colors that way. Did you know that, Lee Bush? No, I didn't. You didn't know that? Mm -mm. I don't know. Well, I'm learning too. Good. Now, the first one we're going to paint in yellow. So watch. Just like that. Now, so remember we're going clockwise around. What's the next color? Libush? Green. Green is the next color. Now, very important, always wash your brush between colors. Always wash your brush between colors. So the next one we're going to paint in green. What's next, Lee Bush? Do you know? Yes. Blue. Blue is right. So the triangle is blue. What's next, Lee Bush? A purple. Purple is right. The rectangle is purple. And next, do you know? Red. Red. Very good. And next? Orange. Hey, hey! Orange is next. So, remember, we're going clockwise around. Yellow, green, blue, purple, red, and orange. Now, now we're going to go out from the center this time with each one, so that each one is different. Now, Lee Bush, let's see how good you are now. Mm. Yellow goes into... Green. Green. So we put the green outside the yellow. And what goes outside that? Blue. Blue goes outside the green. If you have a good brush like this, it makes all the difference. Wash your brush, John. You see? Mm -hmm. What goes outside the blue? Purple. Purple. Mix some blue and red will give us purple. And outside that? Red. Red goes outside that. Very good. You're following it around? Now I'm just going to do the first one and the second one and after that you're on your own. I know you can do it. All my art students are extremely clever. Did you know that, Bush? I did. Yes. Best art students ever. I wouldn't expect anything else. Absolutely. Good answer. Yellow, green, blue, purple, red and... Orange! Orange. Very good. 
Now, if we start with the green, I'm going to do this one as well. If we start with green, what's the next color? Blue. Blue is next, yes. And next? Purple. Purple is next. I have to mix red and blue to get purple sometimes. And outside that? Then radius, it's red. Red goes outside the purple. Now we're getting something nice already, aren't we? I like mm. it. And outside that? Orange. Orange goes outside that, is right. Now I'm going to show you a finished one that I did earlier. Are you ready? Mm. Okay, you want to see? Let's see if you can do it. Wow. You like it? Yeah. Be nice on your bedroom wall, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. You see the way all the colors match the color wheel? Yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green, and back to yellow. Orange, red, purple, blue, green, yellow. You want to have a go? Press pause, take your time, do it at your own pace, and you'll end up with something absolutely lovely for your wall. Okay, guys, that's our art class for today. I have another one next week. Or you can plug in to our cloud, ask your mom what that's about, and you'll find all our art classes recorded and you can help yourself. All right. Bye-bye from John and Lee Bush. See you. See you.